Hi there! In this video, I show you how to set up Z code editor for Python development. We also explore how to configure some handy utilities in Z and how to install and set up linters and language servers and formatters like PyWrite and Ruff. All configuration files are available in the GitHub repository linked in the video description. First things first, head over to z.dev and download the editor. One of the most important shortcuts you need to remember is command shift P. This opens the command palette where you can access all available commands in Z. Command shift P allows you access to all Z commands. Part 1. Installing a tem and icon pack. Command shift P type extensions and there you can find temps and icon temps. In future you can command shift P type temer and uh, toggle tem selector. Also, you can do it with icons. Icons, icon temp selector, toggle, and test to find what you want. Part 2 File format support Docker file, Docker compose, make file, YAML, TOMO, logs, HTML, etc. Again, command shift P, again, extensions. And here you can search all extensions, all available file supports in Z. Now I will show you installed extensions. You can pause the video and watch what I install for myself. Part 3. Setting up PyWrite. What is PyWrite? PyWrite is type checker. In this example you can see what PyWrite does. Here, here, check types and functions. Here we expected string, but got integer. We see error. Also, we can see all project errors here. To install PyWrite, we again need to command shift P again extensions and type based PyWrite. It's important. Only based. Install and then we open terminal and write pip install based PyWrite. And that's all. That's all what we need to do. How to set up PyWrite? Command Shift P, Settings, Open Settings. And here in the bottom, we can see LSP, K based PyWrite. And here is my based PyWrite settings. But in real project, I choose the way to configure PyWrite with pyrightconfig.json. Here you can see all my PyWrite settings. It's also available in my GitHub repo, what linked in video description. And that's all. All you need to do, create pyrightconfig.json in your project and uh, that will see this config and uh, apply it to your pyright. Part 4. Setting up RAF. Same as pyright, you need to command shift P, extension, type RAF, install RAF, then open terminal and type pip3 install, pip3 install RAF or uvx install RAF or uv2 install RAF if you have uv. You can choose the way to install RAF. How to set up RAF? Again, we need to open settings. And here in KF languages, Python, we need to enable RAF in language servers. Also, I forgot, we need to enable base by right here too. And disable default by right. Here you can see my settings. Some protections, formatters, uh, enabled format and save. But again, in real project, I prefer to set up RAF in uh, RAF.tomo in project repo. Here you can see my setup. It's uh, also available in GitHub repo below in the video. And I forgot to show you what uh, RAF do. He warned you about unused imports, incorrect spacings, uh, allows you to format code. Here we can do it, save and uh, RAF will format our code, delete unused imports and more. Part 5. Customize k-buildings. Again, command shift p, kmap. And here you can see open default kmap and open kmap. In default kmap you can see available k-buildings uh, in Z and then you can rewrite it in your kmap. Open kmap and then you can rewrite it. Part 6. Setting up tasks. Again, command shift P, task, 
palm. And here you can see what I have two tasks, rough check that applies a command rough check with fix and rough format with applies format to all my project. How to set up tasks? Command shift P, tasks, uh, Z open tasks. And here you can type all tasks what you need. Part seven, snippets. We can type pipe main. And we, uh, Z will apply this code to our file. And also we can type pipe a main as an example. How to set up snippets? Command shift P, snippets, configure snippets, type language, Python in our case. And here we can set up all our snippets. That's it for this setup. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you next time.